Hello guys, welcome to Code Lead. So this is my first video on this channel, and I am planning to upload a lot of content based on native Android development from beginner to advanced level on this channel. So in this video, we'll be going to talk about uh, activities and how we can switch activities. As you can see, I have already created this project. In this project, I have two activities. First is main activity, and second is main activity two. So first of all, we need to know what is activity. So activity is basically a screen that user will see when it opens the app or will go through the app. An Android app can have multiple activities. Like if there is a multiple screen apps, then it will contain multiple activities or multiple fragments. So we will talk about fragments in any other video. So activity is basically a combination of XML file and a class file. So as you can see, there is a XML file. And this is a class file so in this XML file we will do all our design related stuff I have just created this uh, text and uh, button this button will help us to navigate from first activity to another activity and uh, this class file so if you want to convert a class to an activity we will just have to extend it to app compat activity now we have to override this on create method now this on create method will be called when your activity will be created in your app now if you want to connect your class file to the xml file you do have to use this set content view method you just pass the path of that xml file like this like r dot layout dot activity main because this is the layout folder and this is activity main we can now let's see how we can navigate from main activity to main activity 2 so for that I will be needed that I have already created so idea of this button is uh, next button so I will use this so to use any component you have to find its ID or you can use view binding I am not using view binding to make this video simpler so I will just use well button equals to find view by id now you have to pass uh, the type of that object so i will just pass button and just pass the id r dot id dot next button so now our button is created now we want to set click listener on this button so what is click listener click listener will basically execute the code written in the click listener when that button will be clicked now let's see how we can set click listener we will just use button dot set on click listener and in this on click listener we will write the code we want to execute when the button will be click in this block we will write the code for switching the activities so to switch the activities we will use intent we will write the code as well intent equals to intent so this intent is the class now we have to pass two context in this constructor first the current activity context and second the activity we want to navigate so firstly we will pass this which will give us the context of this activity and second we will pass main activity to class.java now we will just start the activity intent now from this code if you click on this next button the new activity will be open but when you press the back button then you will again navigate to first activity if you want this behavior so this is the perfect code but if you don't want to again navigate to the first activity just write finish here now let's run the app app is started now let's click on this next button so as you can see we have successfully navigated to second activity now if you press the back button your first activity won't show so it just closed our app because there is no activity running on the background now let's remove this finish and let's see what happens now let's see what happens if we click on this next button 
so as you can see we are successfully navigated to second activity now press the back button and here we are we are on the first activity so now i think you understood the use of that finish method so that's all for this video if you have any doubt then please ask it in the comment section and please leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you are new to this channel so see you in the next video